Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the structure of the Pacinian corpuscle. You should then be able to explain how the Pacinian corpuscle acts as a pressure receptor. Over the last couple of videos, we've been looking at neurons. I'm showing you here a sensory neuron. Remember that sensory neurons are connected to sensory receptors, for example, pressure receptors in the skin. When a sensory receptor detects a stimulus, electrical impulses pass down the sensory neuron to the central nervous system. In this video, we're going to look at a specific sensory receptor. This is called the Pacinian corpuscle. Pacinian corpuscles detect pressure, and we find Pacinian corpuscles in the deep layers of the skin. The fingertips and soles of the feet have a high number of Pacinian corpuscles. We also find Pacinian corpuscles in joints, where they detect when the joints are changing direction. In response to pressure, the Pacinian corpuscle produces a nervous impulse. Scientists call this nervous impulse a generator potential. The Pacinian corpuscle is converting mechanical energy, in other words pressure, into the energy of a nervous impulse. And because of this, scientists say that the Pacinian corpuscle is acting as a transducer. I'm showing you the structure of a Pacinian corpuscle here. In the centre, we find the end of the sensory neuron. This is surrounded by many layers of connective tissue, and between each layer of connective tissue, there's a layer of gel. So as we've seen, in response to pressure, the Pacinian corpuscle generates a nerve impulse. Now, in order to explain how this happens, we're going to look at a close-up of the neuron ending. We saw in the last video that in a resting neuron, the membrane is polarised. The inside of the membrane is negative with respect to the outside, and scientists call this the resting potential. We also saw that we have a higher concentration of sodium ions outside the membrane than inside. Now, in the membrane, we have sodium ion channels. In the Pacinian corpuscle, these are called stretch-mediated sodium channels. Normally, these channels are too narrow for sodium ions to diffuse through. OK, I'm now showing you what happens when pressure is applied to the Pacinian corpuscle. Pressure causes the shape of the Pacinian corpuscle to change, and this shape change causes the membrane of the neuron to stretch. When the membrane of the neuron stretches, this causes the stretch-mediated sodium channels to widen. Now sodium ions diffuse through the channels into the neuron. This causes the interior of the neuron to become positively charged. Scientists say that the neuron has depolarized, and the effect of this is called the generator potential. The generator potential causes a wave of depolarization to pass down the sensory neuron to the central nervous system. And scientists call this wave of depolarization an action potential. The action potential is how a nerve impulse is transmitted, and we'll be looking at the action potential in a later video. In the next video, we look at how rods and cones act as sensory receptors in the eye.